Every single one of your parents had to survive childhood illnesses, pregnancy, childhood illnesses, sickness, plagues, wars. They had to have enough food to eat. They had to also not be infertile. And the vast majority of them married because that was the sunnah of, of maybe some people had rape because of the wars and pillages. So, you know, a lot of people, that's why the Prophet, one of his miracles is there was no fornication in any of his ancestors. He said, I am the son of marriage and not of fornication. But many human beings will have that in their, in their history just because of the nature of rape and wars and pillage and things like that. But the prophets, no, they didn't have. So we had to survive all that to get here. It's not just your parents. It's not just the last 20, 30, 40, 50 years. We're talking about thousands of years to get you here today. In Imam Ahmed's Musnad, it said, there's no soul except all the souls back to Adam and Eve in his lineage helped produce him. And so what, you just throw that out? You just annihilate that from the world like that? All those people that every mother that took care of her child in your ancestry to make sure that you didn't die, that gave their food when they were hungry to make sure you didn't die like Aisha who saw the woman who was hungry and yet she gave the dates to her children and she went and told the Prophet and he said Allah will, will forgive her just for that act of preferring her children over herself. Every mother that did that, every father that worked to protect that family, to bring home the food, all these things, this is human life. You know, for that reason, we wrote over Bani Israel, Man qatara nafsan bi ghayri nafsin. Oh, fasad and fir'ar, ka'annama qatara nasa jami'an. It's as if you kill one soul, it's like you killed all of humanity. Because people don't understand what it took to bring a soul into existence. And you look now at how the shedding of blood, and this is what the angels ask God. Atija'ru fiha man yufsidu fiha wa yusfiku dima. Are you going to put in there what sows corruption and sheds blood? The best of the two Adams, kun kahayri ibn Adam, be like the best of two sons of Adam. If you raise your hand to me, I'm not going to raise my hand to you. I'm not going to do it. Why? I'm afraid of God. That's the best of the two sons of Adam. Imam Baghawi relates a narration that says, Sayyidina Uthman took that madhab, he sent the people home, he didn't want fitna, he didn't want bloodshed, he said, let them take my blood, I don't want Muslims to die over my blood, let them kill me. That's what, that's what Uthman, he's on this madhab. They said he took the madhab of Ibn Adam. He sent Hassan and Hussein home. Sayyidina Ali sent Hassan and Hussein to protect him. He had protection. Abdullah ibn Salam got up on his roof and said, I was a Jew and I became Muslim. Wallahi, I saw this man sacrifice everything for the Messenger of Allah. And they said, get the Jew off the roof. This is the khawarij. Get the Jew off the roof. But Uthman, he was reading the Quran, fasting. He didn't even lift his hand. He let them kill him. Because he didn't want to be the one that brings bloodshed into this ummah.